Okay, so this morning we have a Panasonic split system and um, the customer is saying that it runs, it just doesn't blow any cold air. So all I've done is I've gone inside and turned it on, put it onto cooling mode and sounds like it's running. So let's check it out. So, as suspected, this thing, I put the gauges on and it's in a, running in a vacuum. So this has got absolutely no gas in it. So, turn it off, got to pressure test it. So honestly, that's what I suspected when the compressor's running. The outdoor fan was running, the indoor fan was running, but just not blowing any cold air. Gas. But um, yeah, so put the gauges on. There's absolutely nothing in it. Go get the nitro. use my um, far side gauge to pressure test for obvious reasons. I like to pressure test at 3,500 kPa. Alright, can't really hear anything here. Okay, so the first thing I do is just obviously check the flares. Can't hear anything. I'm not expecting it to be a flare nut here, on the outdoor unit at least. I noticed that um, I pumped it up and it dropped a little bit below 3500 pretty quickly so I just topped it up again because I didn't know if it was just equalizing but that's like dropping again so it's leaking somewhere
I put this back on and then the next step was I was going to climb under here and see if there's any joins. Um, but when I went to climb underneath, I heard like this bubbling noise. So I've taken this back off and I haven't found it yet, but look at that. Somewhere around here. Alright. Still somewhere underneath this floor. So I've got to crawl under. Let's get a torch. What the f what the hell? It's like there's a whole section of pipe that's leaking. Like it's not just one leak. I've never seen anything like that before. There's not one little pin, like leaking spot. This whole pipe is just corroded through. What the hell? I need to go get some like little bit of quarter pipe to just replace all of that. Well, so I'm just gonna go underneath and replace like a section of that pipe that's like, I don't know, like a section of like 600 mil. Um, luckily, I had some quarter inch pipe in the car. Um, so I'm gonna crawl under there and solder that in now. But honestly, the amount of units I go to where the things have literally no gas in it and the compressor's still running, like, they have all this technology in it, but they don't have a simple LP switch. It's so weird. And it's not just Panasonic, it's all these Japanese brands. Sometimes they just don't cut out, it's weird. Anyway, I'll go under and solder this up.
Alright, let's free pressure test it. Closed everything up because it's like raining on and off. I just throttle it on and off until I get to the uh, 35 kPa that is. Whenever I finish pressure testing, I just close that. It's gonna go spray blue bubbles all over that new pipe. And just leave that for a bit. Off. Bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah, that's not normally how I leave it. <laughs> okay, so. I've just replaced the section of pipe here, solder join there, solder join there, because that's where it was leaking. It's not leaking there anymore, but I just peeled away some more insulation, and it's leaking. This literally, like, this whole bit of pipe needs to be replaced. I've never seen that before. This pipe, they said it's about six years old, the install. They must have got this pipe from, like, China. <laughs> what the hell? That's a no. We can't fix it today. You need to replace the whole pipe run. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, so I've honestly, in 15 years, never seen that before. Um, I can't fix it. I need to go get some pipe, like a whole new roll of, like a 20 meter roll of hair coil pipe. And then I'll um, come back here, but I've got jobs booked in after this, so I'll have to come back at the end of the week. But yeah, so it was a gas leak. Um, I'm surprised that it was still running. Like, I don't know why these things don't cut out on a LP. Um, and yeah, it was just the quarter inch part of that pipe was leaking in multiple spots. It, it was like the pipe was faulty and like, porous never seen it before but anyway thanks for watching and um i'll see you on the next one